Greetings, everyone. This is your boy, Bobby. 1984 coming to you. Some of that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. Uh, we're playing a semi quick gameplay team death match gameplay on Dome. And I'm gonna just tell you right now, I man, this is a rough outing for me and my squad, man. We, for some reason, were struggling to get this victory. So, uh, you know, I know you guys are used to seeing me putting up some of my best gameplay. So here you go to some of my worst gameplay. But uh, today, man, I, I did have a topic I wanted to talk about. If you follow me on Twitter, you know what I was going to talk about today. But kind of changed it up because I wanted to talk about the um, Modern Warfare 3 DLC collection number two. And it's kind of interesting because uh, they're going to be, they're, I guess it's going to be a new gameplay or playing style called face off and it's and it looks pretty pretty interesting to me uh you could do 1v1 or 2v was it 2v2 and they've made special maps for this particular gameplay and uh i've got a chance to look at look at the maps and uh, i've got a chance to actually see some oh man oh what's my name mm -hmm. i got you ox i got you baby but i got a chance to look at some of the the maps and the gameplay and Man, it looks like it's gonna be a, a cool little thing for for more you know for people who are tired of just playing team deathmatch and I guess domination and oh they got a nasty music right there. But it looked like it was gonna be a cool little change up. But um the maps I got to see was uh one is called uh getaway, you got a erosion, lookout in the ground. And from what I've seen I think I'm gonna I'm gonna like Getaway and Erosion a lot better than the other two maps. And Getaway, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's like a beach house type thing. It's, you know, a house on the beach, and it's got. I can tell it's gonna be like a, a lot of high traffic <laughs> violence going on in the living room, or pretty much on the outside in the, near the pool area. It just seems like it's gonna be a decent map. And Erosion to me looks pretty big but it's it's kind of a I guess they say it's a long rectangular map but it, what I like is it has a lot of passageways where you can pretty much go left or right and it just seemed like for me SMGs I mean even the assault rifles are going to just you know be able to just wreak havoc on that map a ground and lookout I wouldn't really feel them I'm gonna be, be just honest with you something about them you know because for one I haven't really played these maps but just my first look at those two, I was just like, yeah, I'm not really feeling that. I almost feel like it might be a camper's paradise on those two match, uh, maps. But I'm not sure. I'm just speculating. And I'm just throwing it out there. It's my opinion. But I don't really particularly care for those maps. But I'm going to take a break. And I want to let you guys look at the score, man. We are getting destroyed by this team. I don't know what's going on. I looked at their stats beforehand. And it didn't seem like they were going to be leveling us like this i mean not nasty music off i got i'm just getting worked right now and i'm getting very frustrated we're gonna have, we're gonna do something now look at me i'm trying to be a team player they had a helicopter in there and i was like you know i'm gonna take it out but my boy young real got to it before me and i pretty much wasted my predator missile but i was trying to be a team player man i'm not all about just getting my stats man i want to help the team out too but we starting to make that comeback, man. I got that paved low. And I'm going to go ahead and spend, send a special shout out to the paved low. Because without the paved low, man, sometimes things just get out of hand. But when you have a paved low and it just comes and it just helps, you, you almost want to just, just say thank you. Just, you know, or, or, or just just thank you for coming in and helping me out. But um, I wanted to get back on these maps, though. Um, with this gameplay face off. It feels like you're going to have to really, especially when you do 2v2, you're going to have to really play as a team. Can't just be, well, you can run around and try to get all the kills and do whatever, but it looks like you're going to have to really focus on being, you know, uh, Tango and Cash or, or you know, whoever, whoever whatever other, uh, <laughs> Riggs and Murtaugh. You know, you got to really work as a unit to win, but I'm, I'm kind of excited for this, man. I really am, and... Um, I heard a release date is May 15th for, uh, I guess, Call of Duty Elite members. You get this collection or whatever it is that's involved in it. But what's kind of cool is they're going to offer two maps, two of these face-off maps for free. You only have to be a part of uh, the Elite. Uh oh, here we go again. You don't have to be a part of Call of Duty Elite to get these maps. So that's kind of cool. They're going to give you two of the maps for free. Uh, but everybody else is going to have to wait till I guess, May 22nd. But don't, don't get mad. Just be happy. 
I mean, I think I think they trying to make new moves here. But um, I'm gonna just you know I just want you guys to stay tuned and be on the lookout. But as you see, man, this gameplay is coming to an end. My pave low willed us back, and I came through, kind of helped out a little bit, and got the victory for us. But if you enjoyed this struggling gameplay from me, man, please subscribe to IGN, click the like button, and leave me a comment in the comment section about you know the new face-off maps and the new collection pack and all that good stuff. But this is your boy. Badia, 1984 man, signing off man. Hopefully, I can bring some more of this gameplay. But I'm just going to say, man, I'm not happy with the way we struggle with this team. But hey, it is what it is. We gone.